Hi, kindergartners. Mrs. Taylor here. I miss you. The star staff misses you. Let's get on this thing. Um, another lesson for this week. Today, we're talking about careers. A career is basically a job that you might like to have someday. We're going to read a, fa a funny, fantastic book called, called Whose Hat Is This? And then I've got two challenges for you today. Not just one, but two. Put on your thinking cap and guess whose hat is whose. There are hard hats and soft hats, square hats and round hats. There are even very tall hats. Some workers wear hats to keep warm. Others wear hats to stay clean. A hat can block the sun from a worker's eyes. A hat can protect a head from getting hurt. Hats come in all shapes and sizes. Can you guess whose hat is whose? All right, ready, here we go. Whose hat is this? So bright and shiny. Do you have a guess? I bet you do. This is a firefighter's helmet. She runs into burning buildings to put out fires. Her helmet keeps her head safe from falling objects and extreme heat. Now, I love this. There are also some fun facts with each hat. So you can impress your family and friends. You can tell them. Um, fun fact. Firefighters' helmets are red, yellow, or neon colored. I did not know that. So they can quickly be seen from far away or through smoke. Didn't know that. Next one. This is a little tricky, kindergartners. Whose hat is this hanging over a face? Do you have a guess? This is a beekeeper's hat. A beekeeper raises bees for honey. She reaches into hives, buzzing with bees to get the honey. Her hat covers her face and protects her from stings. Fun fact. Beekeepers also wear coveralls and long gloves to protect the rest of their body from those bee stings. Oh, this career, I bet you know it. Whose hat is this so tall and clean? Hmm, you say. Yes, this is a chef's hat. It is also called a toque. His white hat shows that his kitchen is clean. The chef in charge of the restaurant wears the tallest hat. I did not know that. One in charge, tallest hat. I also didn't know this. A chef's hat might have 100 pleats. Pleats are these folds up top. These pleats show that a great chef can cook an egg 100 different ways. I bet not many people know that fun fact. Whose hat is this with a polished silver badge? I'm thinking you can guess this one. This is a police officer's cap. It is part of her uniform. A police officer's cap helps people find her quickly in a crowd because no one else will be wearing the same cap. So it's used for identification. Something else you might not know. Fun fact. The badges, emblems, and nameplate on the uniform are part of the insignia that a person in uniform wears. It shows what town the officer works in or what skills she has. So her uniform tells a lot about her. Whose hat is this? So round and strong. This is a football player's helmet. When one football player tackles another, his helmet keeps his head safe if he hits the ground or another player. Fun fact. Some football helmets have linings made of inflatable pads. These pads help the helmet fit snugly um, to each player's head. Didn't know that either. This one is tricky, kindergartners. Take a really good look. Whose hat is this shining in the night? Got to guess? This is an astronaut's helmet. It is part of his spacesuit. Up in space, there is no air. His helmet gives him air to breathe and keeps his body at a steady temperature. Fun fact. It's very cold up in space, so astronauts must wear special suits with their helmets. These suits help astronauts stay warm. And how about this one? Whose hat is this? So hard and yellow. This is a construction worker's hard hat. Sometimes workers drop pieces of wood or sharp nails while they are working. A construction worker wears a hard hat to protect his head. Sounds like a very good idea. Kind of like a helmet when you ride your bike. Fun fact. The original hard hat was made out of canvas, glue, and black paint. Well, that doesn't sound very hard. Today's hard hats are made out of plastic. Plastic is stronger and more durable. 
So it sounds great that we now have technology to keep our workers' heads safer. And here's a silly one. Whose hat is this so warm and snug? This is your hat. When it's cold outside, it keeps your head warm. When it snows, it keeps your head dry. Fun fact, hats can be made out of yarn, fleece, wool, cotton, or leather. Some winter hats even have flaps to cover your ears, like this one does. And here's a little challenge at the end of our book, just for fun. Point to the picture of the hat described in each sentence. I have a special netting to protect a worker's face. Got it. Beekeeper's hat. I have a shiny badge and stand out in a crowd. Police officer's hat. And the last one, I protect an athlete's head. A helmet. I hope you enjoyed that book. Um, a quick little challenge for you. It's the guess whose hat is it game. Construction worker hat. You got it. Police officer. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you say it. What is this? This is a chef's hat. Firefighter's hat. You're on a roll, kindergartners. Painter's hat. Nurse's hat. Stick with me. Ooh, tricky. Sailor's hat. Mm hmm Rancher, cowboy, cowgirl. Very cool. And the last one. Perhaps a, ooh, a scientist's hat. Maybe a paleontologist who studies dinosaurs or a meteorologist who studies the weather. Very cool. Well, I would love for you to fill my bucket today, boys and girls. I am giving you a challenge. I'm challenging you to think about what career or job you might like to have in the future and to create a hat representing that career. I'll put some hat examples in my Google Classroom for you to check out, and I'll show you them now here too. I made one possible hat. This is called my artist hat. It may also be called a beret. And to, to make this, oh, <laughs> I love it. To make the hat, I simply cut it out, decorated it, and took some paper and just taped the band behind it to make the hat. So if you do this challenge, please make your hat, take a picture and send it to me, message it to me. I would love to see your creations and what you're interested in perhaps doing someday. Um, you could create a police officer's hat, a construction worker's hat, um, maybe a firefighter's hat, scientist, nurse. This could also be a doctor's hat or a veterinarian's hat. This plus sign, this is a symbol for a um, healthcare worker, someone who takes care of people or creatures. Oh, this is Taylor. Chef's hat. <laughs> Maybe a farmer's hat. And this could be military. Thank you for watching today. Thinking of you. Um, stay safe, work hard, and always be kind.